So today I thought I'd better check out some of my appliances for my drones. Now today I've got my DJI RCM1 and I've got my Mini 2 which I haven't flown for quite a while but I thought I'd just do a check. So well, as always guys it's always better to check to make sure of any new updates. Obviously you probably check the fly app. My fly app is up to date which I know but I just want to go into the about. So what I've done I've turned on the RC as you can see it's nearly fully charged my DJI Mini 2 is nearly charged as well so it's best to do that don't put your Mini 2 on when it's only got like one bar left because that won't be enough so what we first do top right hand corner the three dots the about we go down to uh, aircraft firmware we check for updates as you can see there that's my last update Sometimes when you press it, it's just checking for the version now. Okay, so it's saying there's an update needed, so we just do that. So it's for the RCM1 controller. Um, okay, so what it's doing really is to do with the phone series, obviously to do with Android more than Apple, but need to do it. So let's see what happens. So it's saying it's going to take around about 10 minutes. So what I'll do, okay, that was pretty fast anyway. I'll speed up the operation so you see it in a mo. So that was pretty quick. That took a couple of minutes. So we just say, okay. Now a lot of you are going to probably going to say, do you really need to do an update? To be personal, if unless you got that type of phone, probably not. But I thought I'd do it anyway. No odds to me about updating. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go outside now and test the drone to make sure there's no other problems. There shouldn't be, but it's always best to do a test flight before going out on a proper flight. Anyway, so I'll meet you outside. So I've come out to my location. I've got the Mini 2 drone on, turned it on itself. I've got the RCN one on as well. You can see what's going on on the screen. So the first thing we've got to do, guys, is get the drone off the ground. I always do auto takeoff. Takeoff. Home point updated. So one of the things I always do is when I do auto takeoff, just want to make sure it's calibrated correctly. It's just motionless. So that's that's the first good thing, especially after an update. Guys, every time you have an update, whatever drone it is, always come out and do a test flight first before you go off on a mission or something. Just do a test flight, just a quick test flight. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send the drone right up. Off we go. Okay, so about, about 100 feet. I'm gonna fly it out in that direction another thing i will do i'll put on the video as well so i can check the the uh video make sure it's not jumping about things like that i mean the other thing about here i'm, I'm sort of down a bit of a valley so i'm just checking also for about signal uh at the moment everything's looking good on the rc i'm just trying out the gimbal as well that's all looking good right i'm just gonna i think to be honest that's quite that's a fair distance and also if you look at it um it's probably out of my range a little bit so what you want to do now is bring it back towards me um <laughs> okay so this is um the direction That's all looking good. All looking good. Bring it over this way a little bit. Now I know where I am, obviously, flying these drones. I'm just about on that building that you're coming up to the central now. Hopefully you can just about hear the whine. Okay, I'm just gonna send it over this direction. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, fly over that direction. I mean, to me, everything's looking fine, which is good. 
So what I'm going to do now, this is another thing I always check, is the return to home. So return to home. Return to home. I mean, it's not, it's not going to come exactly back in the same position. I don't expect that with the Mini 2. But I know it's going to come back probably about three or four foot out of its location. So it's always good. Uh, just move about with the gimbal as well. No, nothing wrong seems to be going on with the gimbal. It's just coming up above us now. Landing. What I'm going to do in a moment, I'm just going to go into some of the quick shot mo movements just to see if there's anything going on there. I wouldn't have thought so. So I'm going to turn off the video. Okay, he's coming back down. Near on whereabouts it's taken off, which is pretty good. Gonna stop it about there. Let's line the dr drone up on myself. Okay, let's go into one of the quick shots. Let's try um, a drone first. I think that's a good one. Okay. Let's bring that camera down on me. I'm just, as it's shown you already, I'll just draw a box around myself. I've got a hundred foot distance. I think that's pretty good. Three. Let me just start that. Two. One. I don't think I'll be doing the circle somehow. So as off it goes, I'll just give it a wave. Now, obviously, you've got to remember about this drone. If you're flying another drone, it hasn't got no avoidance at all on it, so you're flying it freely. So any obstructions, it's just going to go into. Okay, so it's completed its mission. It's going to come back in. I'll let it just come back in there. Pretty good. Come back onto its path, which is good. Right, I'm just going to... Okay, it's... Let's let it settled. So it's settled. We go back in there. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and do a circle. But what I am going to do, I'm going to bring up the drone. I'm going to bring the drone up a little bit more, because you've only got some trees there. Um, okay, so put a circle around me. Now, if I wanted to, I'm not too particularly which bother. I think it's going to go clockwise on this Three, one. Three, two, one. I think I'm all, I'm fine. I can see that tree there, which is good. I can't see any other obstacles. <laughs> so it's just going to come back to do it full circle. Personally... I think that's fine. What they're doing, I'm just going to bring the drone back in uh, and we'll just check some of the settings as well. So I'm just going to do land. Landing. Let's bring the drone in. Uh, looks like it might land on that bit of dirt there. So I'm just going to stop it there. Bring it in a bit closer to me. Okay, let's bring it down. Bonnie, 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 good girl. Landing. Okay, so that, that's good. I'm just going to go into the settings a moment because I expect somebody's going to ask me, Sean, have they changed their maximum altitude? And I can safely say, um, even though I've got a pre recording on this, they haven't. If I just move it up from 377, um, it's already telling me I've gone over my. 120 meters or 400 foot mark. Uh, I'll just agree that. So you can see there, I'm just going to put it back to how it was. So that hasn't changed. Um, I always keep it on the control. Everything else, follow me. Uh, FBV modes, that's all pretty substantial. I haven't messed about with that. Um, camera, I've got it on JPEG. I'll move it back to JPEG there. Yeah, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. So, 
Hope you enjoyed that. It's just a quick test flight. As far as I'm concerned, the update was pretty minimal, really. It's really more to do with an Android phone. But anyway, as always, hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Anyway, I'll catch you on another drone video very soon. Thank <laughs> you.